Hi everyone, it's Nishti here, Specialist Dietitian for Children and Parents. And in this video, I want to explain why I prescribe an amino acid formula as the first line treatment. Sometimes I tend to do that. And in this video, I'll explain out of three case studies, just to give you an example to why I do that. Now remember, pediatric dietitians can prescribe formulas. You don't always have to ask your GP. And in fact, we are the experts when it comes to prescribing formulas for children with allergies. Now I'm focusing on non-IgE mediated cow's milk protein allergy, not IgE mediated. So make sure that you are aware of the difference between those. I have done a video about that, which I will link down below. So why is it I prescribe an amino acid formula in, as a first line treatment in children with cow's milk protein allergy? So cow's milk protein allergy is the most common food allergy in children. I have done videos where I explain so much about this. Um, so please check out the cow's milk protein allergy thread on my channel. I have so many videos, I think more than 10 at least. Um, but it is such a common food allergy in our children. And we see it in very young infants, children, toddlers, but also in teenagers and adults. But let's just focus on children. Um, and it can be very distressing for both the child and the parent because the symptoms can be very nasty. Uh, it can affect your skin, your gastrointestinal tract, so your tummy, but also your respiratory tract, so breathing, wheeze, you know, children were very wheezy, congested, eczema, reflux, vomiting, loose stools, constipation. I've done so many videos, I explain all this, so please make sure you watch that. Uh, so it is a very common food allergy, and it is probably in pediatric practice, so for us dietitians who work with children, it's something we see all the time, all the time. And um, so you, if you are watching this, you most likely have a child with calcium protein allergy, uh, and I'm sure you can find everything you need to know about it on this channel. So there are different formulas for children with calcium protein allergy. Remember, of course, I do not need to say that breast milk is the best milk for our children. And I wish I could prescribe donor milk for all children. It is used for the neonatal population, which is just beautiful. Um, but unfortunately, I can't prescribe human milk to another human, milk, a human um, baby. And I wish I could, just like they did back in the days. I was actually breastfed by someone else because my mom couldn't breastfeed me. And I think, is it called a wet nurse? It's called a wet nurse. And it was very common back in the days. And now I think we tend to cringe, but actually what's more beautiful than human milk? Anyway, let's focus on all these different milks out there that are um, hypoallergenic. So that means they're used in children with suspected cow's milk protein allergy. There is one, something called extensively hydrolyzed formula. Two, something called amino acid formulas. Extensively hydrolyzed formulas and amino acid formulas are very different. So let me just explain the difference first. Now, the first thing you need to understand as a parent or maybe as a healthcare professional watching this is that we have extensively hydrolyzed formulas and then we have amino acid formulas. So what are these formulas all about? Now, extensively hydrolyzed formulas are, uh, include Similac Alimentum, Nutramagen, Alvera, Aptamil Pepti, and these formulas are made from cow's milk. So they can be really useful in some children. They completely change their symptoms and the child gets a lot better. And that's because the protein has been chopped, so it's easier to digest for our children. Because let's bear in mind that the protein in human milk is tiny. The protein in cow's milk is massive. It's intended for a calf, really, if we think about it logically. And if it's chopped into smaller pieces, it just makes it easier for our children to digest. So extensively hydrolyzed formulas can work in some children, but not everyone. That's when we have amino acid formulas. 
amino acid formulas can um, contain absolutely no cow's milk. They are made from the building blocks of protein called amino acids. And what are the range of amino acid formulas? We have Neocade, Alpha Amino, Elicare, Pure Amino, and these are just examples I'm giving you. I'm not sponsored, by the way, by this video. Um, so extensively hydrolyzed formulas, amino acid formulas. It's very important that you understand the difference. Um, and even amongst these formulas, they are all different as well. So for example, I have a table here. Um, for example, uh, Neocate's Neocate range, for example, Neocate Sinio, which contains probiotics, is made from coconut oil um, and sunflower oil and rapeseed oil. And the main carbohydrate source is glucose. Whereas with Elicare, the main carbohydrate source is corn and it's made from safflower oil, palm kernel oil, coconut oil, soy oil, it contains soy oil. Some children can react to soy, but not everyone. So do you see, even amongst the formulas, they are all different. So as dietitians, as pediatric dietitians, we are experts at these things, so we know exactly what to prescribe. It's not just as simple as, try this. Well, sometimes it can be actually, <laughs> it's not that complicated. Um, so it's very important you familiarize yourself with the different types of formulas uh, because they are extremely different. And if your child hasn't, if you haven't seen any symptom res resolution in your child, so if the symptoms haven't improved, then maybe they're on the wrong formula. So step number one is to familiarize yourself with the different types of formula, extensively hydrolyzed or amino acid formulas. So the number one reason to why I may prescribe an amino acid formula is if a child is on an extensively hydrolyzed formula, but it has still not worked. So for example, child had uh, colic, reflux, um, loose stools. They were prescribed to Tramagen or Similac or Althera or Aptanol Pepti. These are extensively hydrolyzed formulas. It's been two to three weeks now, coming into the fourth week, because it's, it's always important to give it time. So let's say it's the fourth week, baby is still not better. Now it's time to think about amino, an amino acid formula. And by the time I see people, I think because it's private practice and by the time I see them, they have already been trying the extensively hydrolyzed formulas for quite a while, but it hasn't worked. And because parents are frustrated that their child is still struggling, uh, by the time I see them, it really is as simple as changing over to the amino acid formula and usually symptoms will fully resolve. So number one is if child has not seen any improvement or baby has not seen any improvement or very little improvement on an extensively hydrolyzed formula, I will prescribe an amino acid formula. And my clients get this delivered straight to the door within three working days. Now, just a little side note. Sometimes, if a child has been on an extensively hydrolyzed formula, sometimes I may actually even change over to another extensively hydrolyzed formula. For example, if a child has loose stools and they are on Althera, which contains lactose, we can always try Nutramagen or Similac Elementum that doesn't contain lactose. So, Sometimes, not every time, will I com completely jump from extensively hydrolyzed to an amino acid formula. Sometimes I will actually try and use an extensively hydrolyzed formula, swap it for another extensively hydrolyzed formula. Number two, and obviously I follow guidelines, so I've got them open here. I will be posting them underneath this video as well. Number two is if a child has severe eczema, and in fact, although guidelines don't suggest this, even if a child has eczema patches, I go straight to the amino acid formula. Because from experience, I see that children with eczema may have multiple allergies later in life. They're more likely. And so I go straight to the amino acid formula. I just do not see the point in prescribing an extensively hydrolyzed formula. Now, every dietitian works differently. 
Um, and you know, there is no right or wrong, really. Even if, if you are put on an extensively hydrolyzed formula and it has worked, brilliant. But if it hasn't worked, then there is no harm to try an amino acid formula. These formulas are safe. They are, to be honest, I think they are more safe than what we buy in the supermarket. I'm not even sure why they need to be on prescription, <laughs> you know. They are completely safe for our children. And in fact, they tend to cause less issues in our children because of the absence of cow's milk. So number two, if a child has eczema, then I will go straight to an amino acid formula. Now, number three reason is if a mom is breastfeeding her baby and she's reached a point where she's either not able to breastfeed or she doesn't want to, or maybe she's now ready to combo feed her baby, then um, if she needs a formula, it has to be an amino acid formula. Because if baby is reacting through the dairy coming from mom's breast milk, then it does suggest they're very sensitive to dairy and therefore they need something that's completely dairy free. And the only thing that's completely dairy free is an amino acid formula. I often see moms that are breastfeeding that are then decide to combo feed who are prescribed extensively hydrolyzed formulas and it just doesn't work. And it's because they are, um, obviously if you think about breast milk, breast milk is human milk. It is meant, we are meant to drink human milk. The protein is a lot smaller in size. The protein in, in cow's milk formulas is massive. So children cannot, some children, most children cannot tolerate this. Um, so if you're breastfeeding your baby, and if you want a formula that's free from dairy because your baby is reacting to the dairy you eat, you would need an amino acid formula. I hope that was helpful. I really hope you got some value out of that. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it with someone. Share it with a mom that you think would really benefit from listening to this. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be happy to even do a video for you answering your question if it is applicable. So thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next video.